Thank you, Steve. Tonight, WWE superstar Sonya Deville describes in her own words the terrifying moments when deputies say a stalker broke into her loot's home this past weekend with plans to kidnap her. Hit on your side's Melanie Michael is live for us tonight at the Hillsborough County Courthouse with more. It really is a scary story. It certainly is, Jen. Good evening to you. Sonia DeVille filed this restraining order saying her life was threatened along with lives of her family members. The WWE superstar outlined the terror from the night a South Carolina man broke into her home in Lutz, deputies say, with the intention of taking her hostage, carrying a knife, plastic zip ties, duct tape, and mace. Sonia DeVille says the alarm went off, indicating her family room door was open. That's when she says she saw 24 year old Philip Thomas staring at her. She screamed at him, What are you doing? What do you want? She says she realized he was not there to rob her, but rather hurt her. Later, she says she found hundreds of messages on Instagram describing them as obsessive, suicidal, and disturbingly threatening. I hope that that judge really, really is cautious and does not let him out. Julie Weintraub is a longtime victim's advocate, helping survivors of stalking and domestic violence for nearly 15 years with her organization, Hands Across the Bay. She says stalkers find their power in threats. They love doing that, and a lot of it typically is a dysfunctional relationship with the women in their lives. Most often, their mother, but it could be anybody. So they have anger towards women, or depending on who their victim is. So that's what they like to do. By the way, on a side note, there were two people inside the house that night. Sonia Deville and rival wrestler Mandy Rose. Both women got away okay. By the way, that hearing is coming up on Thursday, and we will be there. I'm Melanie Michael, 8 on your side.